Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. He is great, and he's greatly to be praised. He's a wonder. Yes, he is. Bless his holy name. Woo! Don't know what I do without the Lord on my side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Glad to be with you one more time. You know, things are moving. Yes. Hmm. Did I say moving? Yes. Total Restoration Ministries is moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're in the process of moving. And uh, at this recording, we're not uh, in our new location yet. You know, there's a hiccup. Yes, yeah. Uh, not of our doing. No, the Total Restoration Ministry paperwork was in order. And the loan has been approved. However, <laughs> you know, you should always do your background work when you're going somewhere, when you're moving, to make sure everything is all right on the other side. Yeah, because after all, uh, uh, weren't there some spies uh, sent out? Uh, yeah, yeah, there was some spies sent out to, to check everything on the other side to see if it's all right to cross over. <laughs> Glory to Jesus' name. Bless his holy name. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We give you the glory. Yes, we do. We give you the glory. Mm hmm. Yeah. Don't know what we do without you. <laughs> glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving to 235 Ross Avenue in the historic uh, uh, Rossville area of Hamilton, Ohio. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Ross is just one way going down the hill there, right? <laughs> yes, amen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're moving, and uh, I'll let you know, amen, uh, uh, when we're in there. Uh, right now, we're we're virtual. Yes, yeah. You don't want to miss uh, Bishop Damon White and his word. He's got a mighty word. Yes, he does. Uh, anointed, yeah. Uh, I call him the elite bishop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's a mighty, mighty man of God. And, of course, this lovely wife, First Lady Salome White. Amen. She is uh, indeed a First Lady, a wonderful, humble woman of God. Yes, yeah. So we're going to we're gonna have prayer. Uh, now, we're no longer on Nilus. Yeah. Yeah, we've, mo we've moved on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, uh, a dear, dear friend of mine, uh, I call him a Bishop Morrell, Pastor Morrell in Marion, Indiana. Went there for years into the COVID, and then the uh, uh, season was over. Mm -hmm. uh, but my love for him and his wife, uh, Pastor Brenda Morrell, amen. I call her Bishop too. Two faithful, faithful people of God. Amen. Yeah, wonderful people, yeah. So if you're in the Marion area, Marion, Indiana, amen, you ought to visit him at 732 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, 150%, yeah, yeah, that's my recommendation for them. So if you're in Marion, Indiana, amen. Don't delay. <laughs> Make your way, yeah, yeah. Uh, they've got they've got something to say, and it's nothing but the truth. So help me God. <laughs> James, chapter five, yes, verse number thirteen. Okay, you ready? Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. You got an affliction, then you need to pray. Stop asking everybody you know to pray for you. Pray for yourself. Learn how to pray for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Is any merry, you know, or happy? Let him sing psalm. Yeah, learn the psalms. Uh, if you don't know one, open the Bible and just sing one. Yeah, 
Sing to yourself or sing out loud. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord because you're singing to the Lord. Verse number 14, James 5, 14, is any sick among you? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we don't do altar like we used to. Yeah, in fact, we don't do a lot of things like we used to. And some's good and some's bad. But altar mm, should be prime in the church. Certainly should be. It's of the utmost uh, importance. Altar, you spell that A-L-T-A-R. Altar. Mm -hmm. And when you come to the altar, things will alter. A L T. E-R, altar, will change, yeah. Prayer changes things. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. And the prayer of faith, look out here, verse 15. And the prayer of faith mm -hmm, shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise them up. Yeah, yeah, that him is a generic word, amen. That means male and female, everybody. Yeah. Uh, our God is no respecter of persons or gender. Amen. We are. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. I'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. And everybody has done something wrong. Everyone, amen, has sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's before salvation and in the process of being saved, because being saved is a process. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. And the prayer of faith, I'm going to read that again, and then we're going to pray. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Praise the Lord for forgiveness. Praise the Lord for your mercy. Praise the Lord for your great grace, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for life and liberty and for the pursuit of happiness. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you because you have pleasure in your saints, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you. Oh, Lord, uh, uh, some are sick, Lord, hallelujah. Virus is going around, amen. So many in danger, oh God. But, oh God, you are a dangerous sovereign, yeah. There's no virus too tough for you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, we give you glory. We thank you, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask your blessings now. We ask your beneficial blessings, Lord. We ask your kindness, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have your way. Amen and amen. Uh, we're talking today about an, a house of opportunity. Yeah, a house of, of opportunity. And so, all right, put your friendly hat on, please. Yeah, put your friendly hat on. Because uh, I'm about to say something, I want you to. Have your friendly hat on. I don't want you to take an attitude. Amen. But I want you to keep an open mind about it. I want you to think seriously about where we are today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is this, 2022? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're half the years over uh, during the time of this uh, recording here at uh, Waycross Community uh, Media. Amen. Studio. B, that's where we are. We have a church. Yes, we are. <laughs> Glory to Jesus' name. Uh, you and me, amen. I got a question uh, to ask you, amen. Friendly hat. How many black women won an Oscar for Best Actress? Uh, my notes, uh, my research, amen. One, yeah. How many black women 
won an Oscar for Best Actress. One. Ain't that a shame? Ain't that an embarrassment? Oh, yeah, yeah. How many black men for Best Actor? Four. Yeah. Four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Four for Best Actor and Best, best uh, Actress. One. Mm-hmm. All right, we're talking about a house of, right, opportunity, right? All right. You know there's something wrong with that. Yes, there is. There is something wrong with that. One, black woman. Mm. Four, black men. Mm. My, 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 my. Mm. Okay, let's look at our Congress. We're talking about an a house of opportunity. So, you know, you have the House of Representatives and you have the Senate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, blacks, uh, by my research, uh, 43 blacks uh, in the House yeah, of Representatives. Yeah. And uh, two in the Senate. Yeah. Two blacks in the Senate. Mm hmm since 1870, there have been only nine blacks in the Senate. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. You think you, you know there's something wrong with that. And our Senate is almost equally divided between Democrats and Republicans. Yes, yes. And there's, there's one party, a man, that is anti-colored people. Yeah. Any color. Their favorite color is white. Yeah. And they have a cold word, conservative. And conservative uh, is hatred for anyone that is non-white or is going to be independent. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh-uh, no, uh-uh. They're following a person that has a bad reputation, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why they don't name it uh, the party after his name because they can't, they can't think for the country. They can't make decisions for the best interest of the country. We're talking about a house of opportunity, and we know there's something wrong with these numbers because they're saying opportunity it's not there. It's being blocked. Yeah. And there's reason that it's being blocked. And it's a four-letter word that begins with H. Yeah. Uh, no, not hell, but hate. <laughs> yeah, it's hate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The neighborhood I live in, I live in the city of opportunity. That's Fairfield, Ohio. Yeah. And then there's a, a certain house that I pass a lot my, on my way to uh, Jungle Gym or to get out of the subdivision uh, that I live in. Yeah. And, you know, that's interesting in, in itself because I've been there over 20 years in this neighborhood in Fairfield. And uh, I asked a question to this teenager when I was looking o over this house. It was being sold by an owner. And... Uh, he took me out in the backyard to give me an estimate of the boundary lines and that kind of thing. And so I said, I got a question to ask you. And he said, uh, uh, yes, Mr. Ruffin. I said, well, uh, will I have any trouble living here? Oh, no, no, you're not going to have any trouble. That's what the young uh, man said. Yeah, teenager. I don't know his age, but I do know he was a teenager. Yeah. And he told me no. And uh, that was true. Uh, up to a certain point, a uh, certain point, it's very, very interesting, this point, uh, because as I was driving out of the subdivision, uh, there was a child uh, that pointed his gun at me. And I was just so thankful that it was a toy gun. Yeah, it's a gun. Because, you know, people are shooting today. Yes, they are. Uh huh. They are shooting. Yeah, and they don't care who they shoot. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah.
particularly, yeah, let's say it, yeah, particularly a colored person, a black person, yeah, a non-white person, yeah. And anyway, this house uh, has uh, uh, a vulgar name, amen, by our president, President Biden, amen. And of course, he's got that flag up. Uh, what an embarrassment. Uh, how tragic, amen, that someone would use that foul word for our president that's sitting right now, amen. Because he has done a whole lot for Republicans. The state of Kentucky, he's went 100% to give them the help that they need. And that's a Republican state. In Ohio, he did his very best to get businesses to come there with millions of dollars. Yes! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and they're in the Senate. Uh, the Republicans are doing their very best, amen, to make it difficult for our president, President Biden, amen. We're talking about an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about an opportunity, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. A house of opportunity. You know, a house divided won't stand. Oh, no. It's not from the outside. It's from the inside that we're in danger. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. People that should know better don't know better. Amen. Because they're fighting their own countrymen. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's a sad, sad thing. Doesn't it give you a goosebump to think about what a beautiful country this is? One of the best countries in the world, if not the best. And what's happening? We have resentment and hatred that's overriding common sense and logic. Yeah, yeah. Wondering in the wilderness. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. You Bible scholars, if you know, if you do read the Bible, yeah, mm -hmm. and if you believe the Bible, I want to talk to you about wandering in the wilderness, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because of some stubborn, mm-hmm, yeah, one-minded person against God, uh, discontented with God, yeah, mm -hmm. lack of faith, unbelief. Wandering in the wilderness. Should have been maybe around a three-day journey. Forty years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wandering in the wilderness. Mm. God went before the people in the form of a pillar cloud by day and a pillar fire by night. God never left his people alone. He made every provision for them for 40 years in the wilderness. I'm talking about an opportunity. 40 years. And those that didn't believe, didn't follow instructions, they didn't make it out of the wilderness. They died in the wilderness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We sort of have the same thing here, you know. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because people rather not get vaccinated then get vaccinated and have an opportunity to live. But people are dying. And viruses are coming back with different names. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But if my people call by my name, mm, that's an opportunity right there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What prevented the Israelites from entering the promised land? Mm-hmm. Unbelief locked out the Israelites from a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm, mm, mm. I think about Al Gore. Remember him? Yeah. He was laughed at about climate control. And look at the mess not only this country, but the world is in because somebody was stubborn and obstinate and didn't believe that there was such a thing as Climate control necessity, and it so much is today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unbelief locked out the Israelites from a land flowing with milk and honey. 
Today, saints are battered with all types of unbelief. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Saints are living people according to 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. Read your Bible. 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. To the saints who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hmm. Grace and peace. God bless you and praise the Lord for our greetings mm. in church cultures. Though church people have different ways of greeting each other, one thing is sure. Without faith, hey, glory, hallelujah. Without faith, bless your name, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Have faith in God and receive mm, 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 what you're going to receive if you have faith in God. Mm, his promised blessing. Yes. A faithful man will abound with blessings. Oh yeah, we, we've had some tragic things happen uh, in our lives. Uh, uh, we thought that we was at the end of, of our rope, so to speak, you know. Because you know what, back in the day, you know what they did with us, a, a rope, yeah, yeah, they tried to curse us because, you know, curse is the one uh, that hangs, yeah, yeah, Jesus became a curse for you and me, no matter what color, what gender you are, Jesus did it for all of us, yeah, he became a curse, yeah, so that he could bless us. Well, we're talking about uh, an opportunity, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. An opportunity, yes. A faithful man will abound with blessings. Proverbs 28, 28. Deuteronomy 28, uh, verses 1 through 13. Are you living with full benefits? Yeah, yeah, we talk about opportunity, right? And you know good and well, amen, that a lot of benefits were blocked for certain people. And even uh, today, uh, a difference is being made between women and men. They don't make the same salary doing the same thing. All right, okay, all right. You, you had to put your friendly hat back on so you could take this in, amen, and soften your heart, amen. Because uh, hard-headed, obstinate, stubborn people, right, they're not, they not going up, they're going down, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Have faith and receive his promised blessing. A faithful man will abound with blessings, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blessings are for the people of God who don't remain in a wilderness of unbelief. Don't remain in an opportunity of unbelief, tossed and driven by false doctrine. Yeah, yeah. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Holiness is a lifestyle, not a denomination. <laughs> yeah. Study the word and rightly divide the word of truth. The Old and New Testament are treasures of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged as you read and Apply the word of truth. We're talking about a house of opportunity. You have an opportunity. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have an opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, amen, that there is no full-scale equal opportunity in this country. I'm a witness. I know. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're talking about an opportunity that it don't matter uh, your family name or the color of your skin and on and on and on. We're talking about a house of opportunity. Yeah, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My goodness. My goodness. <clears throat> I have a scripture for you as we continue with our thought, a house of of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice mm -hmm, and opens the door, there's got to be a response. You got to open the door of opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will come to him and dine with him and he with me. Yeah. Today is the day of Laodicean age. Okay, I want to make a comment. <clears throat> I don't like being negative, but I want to make a comment. We went to a particular restaurant in Fairfield. We go there quite often. And sometimes there's new people. So this particular host, he felt that it was all right to sit us where there was trash on the floor and the table needed a cleanup. You know, you couldn't see it, but you could feel it when you put your elbow uh, down or your forearm down. Yeah, you could feel it. And I, I noticed that uh, my daughter's sweet wife, Jan, amen, she carries napkins uh, in her purse for times like this. It's an opportunity to clean the table. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, but uh, I just decided, I said, I don't want to sit at this dirty table and the dirty floor. There's an opportunity for me to express myself. No, there wasn't no cussing and fussing involved, and there wasn't no screaming and yelling. and Because no, I figured this person must be new, mm -hmm. or this person had a motive to use the opportunity of the way he thinks. But I said, no, we don't want to sit at this dirty table and the floor is all dirty. Amen. Yeah, no, no. We don't eat off the floor. Mm -hmm. Well, in theory, we don't even eat off the table. But, you know, we also check our dishes, too. And uh, someone taught me some time ago to ask for a glass of hot water so you can put that silverware. <laughs> See, it's a day that we're living in. No wonder people are getting sick. Don't sanitize things. Don't clean things. So anyway, we got a we got a different table. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, thank God. You got to move on. Get out of that wilderness of unbelief. That wilderness of unsanitized places. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will come to him. Going back to our scripture. And dine with him and he with me. Today is the day of Laodicean age. Yes, it is. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Some churches have locked Jesus out of the church. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? No Jesus in the church? But that's the day that we're living in. They don't even use the word Jesus in the church. At altar, there is no altar anymore. No coming to the altar. No humbling yourself and reaching out to Jesus. You know, I want to thank you, amen, for watching. And I hope that you are thinking. We'll continue this subject next time in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.